So the day we anticipated is here. ChatGPT's paid version is going to come and OpenAI has opened the wait list for paid ChatGPT access. OpenAI co-founder and uh, president Greg Brockman tweeted this saying, working on a professional version of ChatGPT will offer higher limits and faster performance. If interested, please join the waiting list. And one of the users asked a question about is this API related usage? And his response is no, this is not connected to API response. So technically, ChatGPT's paid version is going to come. I'm not sure if they're going to still keep the free version. I'm, I'm, I have totally no idea what kind of plan. If you take a look at the form, you can see that they're calling this ChatGPT professional access. So right now they're calling it ChatGPT professional access. And this is waitlist and looks like they're also tagging from where they are getting this form filled. So that's why this has been shared as Twitter. And what they're calling this is ChatGPT professional experimental is geared towards professional use with three things. One, always available, which means you're not going to get a message. You're not going to get kicked out of ChatGPT saying that you have been using ChatGPT, you need to take on hour break or something like that. The second thing is they're saying that you would get faster responses. I'm not sure how this is going to happen, but it is possible that they might put you in a separate tier altogether that you get faster response than the rest of the peer because right now like a lot of people have been using ChatGPT given that it has gone viral. So you know that ChatGPT is not as fast as how it was initially before everybody started using. So maybe that you would be on a different tier and you would get faster responses from ChatGPT. That's what they're calling no throttling. And then finally that you would not have daily limits or sorry, you would have the double of daily limit what is currently. So which means you can send more messages than what you are currently sending if you are getting blacked out again because uh, you hit your daily limit. So there are three things that they have highlighted right now, always available, faster responses, more messages. And the process is if you get selected, OpenAI will reach out to you to set up a payment process and to set up a pilot. And uh, what they're saying is, please keep in mind that this is an early experimental program. This is subject to change and we are not making a paid pro access generally available at this time, which means they don't have a plan to launch this or make it available for everybody at this point, which is quite understandable if you see the questions. So the basic questions are like, add your email address. What's your country of residence? How do you use ChatGPT or why do you use whether professional or personal. The most important thing is the kind of questions that they've got about pricing. At what price per month would you consider ChatGPT to be so expensive that you would not consider buying it? At what price would you consider ChatGPT to be priced so low that you would feel the quality couldn't be very good? Why would I feel the quality wouldn't be very good if it is low price? I don't know. At what price would you consider ChatGPT starting to get expensive that it is not out of the question, but you would have to give some thought to buying it? At what price would you consider ChatGPT to be a bargain, a great buy for the money? So it looks like they're going to collect data for all these four questions and they would probably do what a lot of companies do, which is called a price point analysis. They might come up with an algorithm or an optimization technique that would find out the right price in the middle of it so that they know what is the price that people are willing to buy and what is at what price will convert most of these free users into paid users because of course they need paid users. They cannot keep it always for free. And that is, that is, uh, that is the entire thing. And one another important question is how upset would you be? if you could no longer use ChatGPT, very upset, not upset. This also makes them take a decision, a calculative decision about how desperate people are in using this project or product. This is a very typical product question. Um, you would see a lot of companies asking it. If you cannot use this product tomorrow, how upset you would be and all these kind of questions. So it looks like they are getting towards that direction where they want to launch a separate professional tier or pro ChatGPT pro like the iPad Pro, uh, but we don't have any timelines about when that is going to happen. What I'll do is I'll link this tweet and I'll also link the form in the YouTube description, which means you can access this and then you can fill it out if you're interested in getting early access for this chat GPT professional access. Let's see how it goes. Let's see what OpenAI is planned. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in the next video.